Disgraced former FBI attorney Lisa Page breaking her silence, claiming, quote, I know there's no fathomable way that I have committed any crime at all, end quote. That in a Daily Beast interview, President Trump had a response. He tweeted this. When Lisa Page, the lover of Peter Strzok, talks about being crushed and how innocent she is, ask her to read Peter's insurance policy text to her just in case Hillary loses. Also, why were the lover's text messages scrubbed after he left Mueller? Where are they, Lisa? Well, joining us tonight, Heritage Foundation senior legal fellow, former Department of Justice attorney, Hans von Spakovsky. Hans, great to have you here. Nice Good to be here. Here in New York. Uh, let's start with, suddenly we have a new victim in all of this. It's uh, one of the, what we uh, sort of deemed the perps uh, in this, Lisa, Lisa Page. Yeah, I don't know why anybody would consider her a victim. I mean, look, there's a reason she's no longer working at the FBI, and it's because of the uh, unprofessionalism she showed and the partisan bias she showed when she was working there. And remember, at one point, she was removed, removed from the investigation of the Clinton email. So she's not really a victim. She, she brought what she got on herself. Uh, but, you know, so many have... Uh committed uh, offenses against law, against regulation in the FBI right. and the Justice Department, in point of fact. It's all sitting there in uh, the uh, what's unredacted uh, in text, uh, in the testimony, right. uh, depositions. Uh, it goes on and on. And not none of them have been held accountable, whether you're talking about McCabe, whether you're talking about Comey, whether you're talking about... You go down the list. Right. It is... It, to me, it is just mind-boggling to consider that these people are going to go free, as it now appears they are, right. of any responsibility for their heinous actions against this president and the United States government. Well, I have to agree with that. I mean, look, yes, some of them have lost their jobs, but um, the unprofessionalism uh, that was shown by these folks and potentially unethical behavior and potentially unlawful behavior ha has destroyed the reputation of the FBI to the point where people don't trust it anymore to do an objective investigation. And I don't think Chris Ray has done a very good job of trying to police that. And I do think there ought to be serious consideration given to possible criminal prosecutions if there's evidence for that there. That's the only way the FBI can restore its reputation. William Barr uh, considered the great hope for justice uh, right. in, in taking on the attorney general job. Uh, has he performed to the level you thought he would, hoped he would? Well, yes, because remember, uh, in addition to the IG doing an investigation, for example, of the whole start of this uh, investigation of what turned out to be a hoax, the Russian collusion claim, mm -hmm. uh, Look, he's got a U.S. attorney looking into possible criminal prosecution. So it's pretty clear to me that he actually uh, wants to hold people responsible if they engaged in, in misbehavior. So the IG reports about but you to come use out. the word misbehavior. You've used the word unprofessionalism. Right. Uh, perhaps unethical. Right. Tiptoed up to unlawful. Uh, at what point are we going to call this what it is? And I know that you have the care of any attorney with words. Right. But the fact of the matter is, we have watched absolutely atrocious conduct engaged against the President of the United States. We have written records. We have their messages, their right. memoranda. Uh, by the way, where, are, where the heck are the scope memos? Can you tell me? Three of them written. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that hasn't been released yet. Just, it, it, it's it, just, it just underlies the entire... Uh, attempt to overthrow this president through a special counsel that was a contrivance in itself, that act to try to create a special counsel. And the American people still don't have it, and no one, no one mentions it, no one talks about it. What are we doing here? How can we ever have confidence in this government or this Justice Department or this F FBI again when everyone is so, you know, so forgetful about what really does matter here? And that's who is guilty against this affront to the Constitution. Well, look, I, I agree with that assessment. And like I said, I, I'm hopeful that the U.S. attorney, John Durham, who's looking into this. Remember, 
We now know uh, through various reports that it's turned into a criminal investigation. Right. And if he finds actually criminal wrongdoing on top of unprofessional behavior, then hopefully uh, they, the Justice Department will prosecute the government employees who were involved in this. That's the only way to make sure this doesn't happen again. A year-long, almost a year-long investigation of this president by the FBI, right, including uh, months before he was elected. Uh, two years, almost, of investigation by the special counsel. Now this drivel by Nancy Pelosi and the radical Dems, Adam Schiff and Gerald Nadler right. and the bunch. This is a disgusting uh, assault on the presidency and on our way of life. And yet here we are over three years later and we don't have a, you know, our, our first hope, uh, our first hope was the inspector general. And then our second hope is Attorney General Barr. Now our hope is uh, uh, John Durham. Right. We have deferred hopes. We have regenerative hopes. Uh, we have dashed hopes. It, it, where do we go from here? Well, look, the situation, I think, is very bad in Washington because uh, Democrats are now trying to use the impeachment process uh, improperly. They're abusing it, not because uh, the so president has committed any offenses, but because they're... They're trying to remove a president they don't like personally, whose policies they don't like. And if they take well, the that... hell with the little darlings. You know, I know that. But if they take that step, that is a threat to the stability of so, our government uh, t today and in the future. So four, four legal scholars are going to show up for Gerald Nadler's uh, right. farce. And do you think a single one of them will have the guts to say that this is an affront to the Constitution? It is an absolutely sordid, disgusting atrocity against the American way. And all of you be damned. It's illegitimate. And it is not going to stand. Is there one of them that has that guy? Uh, I don't know if they do, but I hope uh, at least one of them do, uh, does, because that's, in fact, what they should say. However much you may not like this president or his policies, it's very clear from the uh, evidence or lack of evidence that was produced during the two weeks of hearings that they have not provided uh, any kind of impeachable offense that, that is that, and no serious wrongdoing by the president. And that's what they ought to say. Uh, indeed, they should. And at least the staff report uh, uh, from the Oversight Committee, uh, from the, uh, 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 the Oversight Committee.